New tonight, more changes atop Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. The district is bringing on a new chief of staff. She is Crystal Hill and she comes from Cabarrus County Schools and she was the assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction there. Interim Superintendent Hugh Hattabas says that Hill will focus on the Title IX office, so she's going to help ensure CMS follows federal and state laws on discrimination, sexual harassment, and retaliation. And you recall this is an office that the district has been beefing up. In fact, last year, it added more staff after students claimed the district mishandled the, their complaints of sexual harassment. WCNC Charlotte's Shamari Morrison details these developments and other district moves tonight. Interim Superintendent Hugh Hattabaugh gave updates to CMS initiatives the district hasn't talked about publicly for months. The most pressing, a $50 million plan for an out-of-school tutoring program announced last fall. Our Chief of Accountability has been working with our legal department and with Sheila Shirley on processes and, and what we'll have in place as we go through uh, and implement uh, those services and work through uh, the work that's necessary to ensure that they're done uh, properly and the students are receiving effective services. In February, the district said in a newsletter they expected some students to start receiving tutoring services by the end of March. We've sent multiple emails to CMS asking for an update on the program with no answers. And despite this meeting being the first with public comments since the firing of Ernest Winston, Hattabaugh spoke to a mostly empty chamber. Only one parent talked about the former superintendent. Remember Mr. Winston's $440,000 clear backpack solution? Hattabaugh also talked about the district's Title IX office. A new chief of staff is taking the reins. Dr. Crystal Hill, and uh, she'll be dealing with Title IX, which is a big issue, a critical issue, strategic management, and other issues. Hattabaugh also laid out the goals of the district for the summer and stress they all align with improving student outcomes. Shamari Morris and WCNC Charlotte. And a busy meeting because we also learned tonight that board member Rhonda Cheek will not run for re-election. She says that the past two years have been, in her words, chaos and stress. Cheek has been on the board for more than a decade.